Hello YouTube friends, viewers and trolls who's gonna be blocked. Today is uh, November 6, 2018 and the topic is don't let snakes to enter your bosoms. So, this is the story my father told me and I know it exists in every known culture and it's the story of the woman who was um, collecting firewood during the winter and she stumbled upon a snake a snake was uh, frozen nearly died and woman because a it's a compassionate b because it likes virtue signaling and c because it's a woman it lacks wisdom uh, put a snake in its bosom and when snake came to alive to life it bit the woman and yeah i know that you know the story and then a woman said snake why did you beat me and uh, snake said you stupid woman you didn't know that I'm a snake. So, what happened a couple of days ago? Just a quick update. You guys know <laughs> there is a, my shoes are there. You guys know that Croatia is now going through the uh, refugee crisis. Well, it's been like this three years, but mostly they've been uh, going to Germany and Sweden because hey, they can rape there, and hey, there is lots of money there. So why not? And then countries like Slovenia, Austria, Hungary which are countries between Croatia and Germany, they put the barbed wire. So now it's more difficult for them to enter those countries and rape their women. And now it's a little bit uh, funny for us because they tend to stay in Croatia. And, you know, where they stay, their rape happens. And um, past three days, we had uh, more uh, violent attacks in the streets of Zagreb than the past five years. We still don't have that or many of them in the Rijeka. Uh, but I started to notice them and you know they, they the way they walk the way they talk uh, they, they look like uh, you know animals uh, both frightened and aggressive at the same time looking all around who's the danger and who could they attack so another thing really crossed my mind when I was reading a report from a, a woman from Rijeka where I'm from she said that there was a group of 10 migrants in front of police station and that they've been uh, shouting and insulting every woman uh, passing by them. And I was thinking, and she said, yeah, you know, you have an idea how that horrible feels. And I was like, hmm, when I go same route, uh, every day I would experience some mostly younger women, better looking. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, my God. He's so disgusting. Oh, how, fa how fat he is. You know, the typical white woman's behavior these days when they're insulting men and we the white men we can't do anything about it you're not gonna look at them and provoke them because they could make a scene you know they're princesses she can hit you can't hit her back cops gonna come immediately and fuck you up so you simply have to swallow your pride and continue that's a little women's privilege well bitches now you know when guys are shouting back and I think it's a karma. I don't like it because I know it's a white genocide, but part of me is really, really I'll admit it, rejoicing because karma, right? And I'll show you something, guys. Can you see this? It says her choice. And there are some old yogurt bottles there. Uh, 4 million Croats and 1,500,000 uh, since 1978 killed. This is how many abortions we had in this country since 1978. Our women managed to kill 1.5 million people. So now we have 4 and less million. Okay. Now, think in terms of karma. Think like this. That all these Arabic young men, which are coming from Algiers, which are coming from Egypt, which are coming from Syria, and plus all others, shitloads of Pakis, etc. Imagine that these people are, are aborted babies. Babies which simply are gold diggers, you know, in, got impregnated in some uh, smelly toilets or maybe if they were fancy in the back seats of some cars and aborted them because, you know, it's just no paperwork, you just do it. It, it, in my time, it was 300 Deutschmarks in the mid-1990s, early 1990s. Now, I think it's like two, 300 euros. 
So imagine that all these aborted babies now being born in a third world countries and they're coming here to hound their mothers. Think about that as a theory. Karma. Kr. To do ma result. So don't you think that all this bullshit which is happening in the Western world is kind of of our own doing? So what would happen if you have you had a religion and thanks to that religion and a culture you've been at the top of the food chain, definitely till the First World War, all the way till 1950s, 60s, you brought the civilization to the shitholes of the world. And now uh, you ditch that religion, you adapted uh, consumerism and atheism, um, abortion became a pride, same as divorce, same as fornication. And now some people from a Muslim culture are entering here and they're raping their women. And they don't have much regard for our culture. Our culture includes uh, gay pride. Gay is a funny term for pederastia, those who love children. They're known for that. Uh, they don't really, Muslims don't really appreciate our transgender culture. They don't really appreciate our women dressed as a hookers. On top of the food chain, she can get all the jobs, she can mistreat the men. She's me too, queen. You look at her funny, you can be fired for that because sexual harassment. Now, think about karma of that. And then you have shitloads of young Arabs on a street. Huga booga, huga booga, you whore, you shit, you piece of shit. Boom, they grab her, they rape her. Isn't this something connected with the actions of the past? Now, okay, we can all be easily hypocrites and simpletons and think, okay, ref refugees, immigrants, invaders even, financed by the scapegoat of the system, George Soros, it's the George Soros. It's the one person. One person put $32 billion into the system of his NGOs. That's why these guys are so numerous uh, and loud, those who are supporting him. $32 billion of dollars. With the $32 billion of dollars, you can buy $32 billion of Croats. And maybe some others as well. Okay? With this kind of money. You know how many assholes he bought to fuck? So, we have all this machinery, one guy. See how simpleton things, you know. I'll fast forward my, my way of thinking because I don't want to take shitloads of time from you. And just one thing is really, really bothering me. And this is how long time my, my fellow people, my organic portals, the Croats, gonna need to start understand that it's not just a natural movement of the people and now it's the Soros, it's the Soros, you know. You know, the top of the of the simpleton's conspiracy ability is the always one scapegoat, which then for the most uh, sophisticated simpletons develops into the, oh, you know, it's not only him, it's the Democrats, it's the liberals, it's the few rich people. You know, how long will they need to understand that the whole story is much bigger than that bullshit cover-up theory? Because what is going on is first white genocide as intro into the global depopulation. But first we need to go. So I'll say it immediately. I never lived with blacks. I did have some contacts and... To be honest, I was not really pleased much with them. Who was? You know, they are, they are, I know that some of my black friends are watching, they are exceptions which justify the rule. And the rule is low IQ and not being aggressive. I didn't live with Arabs. I did have some contacts, most of them good, some bad. But I lived with Khmer and Thai. And I can tell you one thing. Only white people, and this current shape or form are the threat to the powers that be. Only white people have ability, IQ ability and knowledge-based ability to understand the complexity of the matrix. Chinese are also very intelligent. However, they live in a very, very small provincial boxes 
and they don't have much uh, knowledge about what's going on. Okay, we are the only ones who had this illusion of democracy, and in that illusion of democracy, we did manage to get some data of what's going on: missing children, the reptiles, the Anunnaki, the UFOs, the underground bases, the rituals, the adrenochrome, the uh, cortisol, the drinking blood, the, the uh, properties of blood for extension of life, and all of that. We managed to understand, okay, yeah, this is the reptilian planet, this is the reptilian farm, and this is what's going on. But others simply do not have even like the infrastructure. If you want to build a house, you need to have some foundations. Other races just don't have education and they just don't have IQ. And because it was always like that, they simply don't have a culture of understanding what's going on beyond his village in a small town. This is how most of the humanity lives. They just don't know the geography of the world. They just don't have idea like they, they see that you're white, they see that you're dressed differently, that you have more money. But you, same, same, America, Jaleman, you, Francais, my, me, Francais, where are you from? Croatia, ah, Russia, ah, that's the level, you know, he can't get it, you know, he needs to put in some category. Where are you from? America, you're from California. No, no, I'm from Idaho. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, New York, New York, okay, 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 done discussion, don't. You cannot explain me anymore because I just don't know how America looks like. I never seen the map of it. I never heard that there are 50 states and I'm getting aggressive if you're like denying my knowledge. That's majority of the human race at this moment. I just happen to be traveling once around the world, so I managed to you know, get the idea. So, um, <laughs> back to the topic. This is now 6th of November, 2018. I'm really curious how many years and how many of Rastoke type casualties uh, of creation organic portals gonna need to go through in order to understand what's really going on. Okay, and I'm not blaming, I'm not blaming uh, uh, invaders per se. They are opportunists, right? They, they, they've been offered the chance to, to score some money, to score some sex, they've been supported for that they just go okay i'm not even i'm not even blaming the metaphysical evil the reptiles the merkels the rothschilds uh, soroshis and plenkovich creation prime minister of this world i know that they're just part of one system but there is another element which is really integral and which is really helping the whole machine to work which are the organic portals okay and these organic portals are the workhorse of the system and these organic portals never gonna get the full picture and that's my that's my last point uh, to you do not try to wake up organic portals they simply cannot be woken up because they are already dead leave the dead to sleep 